Catus Maximus here, this time with a quick review of the Ry Ryobi TR30U handy trimmer. It's a compact laminate trimmer. Um, I was really fond of Ryobi tool tools back in the 90s. They were really nice. And then they got, you know, they had just, you know, ran out of money, not able quite to compete. So they sold out. And now they're still around at Home Depot, but they're not quite the same level of tools that they used to be. They used to be really the other big um, competitor to Makita in the same kind of style. They always had good designs, and so this is a uh, a, ra a rare or a hardly used uh, one of these trimmers. This thing's probably 20 years old at least. It was assembled in the USA. It's uh, 3.8 amps at 29,000 RPM, and I like it a lot. It actually has an all-aluminum housing, so the upper and lower bearings are held real tight, um, and it helps dissipate heat. It has kind of a area where it hangs over to make more space for the wires to wire it up which is really nice it's much easier to work with the wires in this a lot of these is jam the wires in the lid uh, and they're near impossible so here you at least have a little extra space for the wires and it gives you a nice shelf to really grip onto um, it has a round base but it's flat on the back so it can use these uh, accessories here I'll show you some of the accessories you have this thing which ends up mounting onto the back of it. You have a thumb screw, and then this mounts on the back. And what this is is just is an adjustable height uh, guide. It allows you to adjust the offset as well, so you can reach into a certain area and cut a pretty precise line. It has a roller. Uh, I don't think it's a ball bearing, but you could upgrade that to a ball bearing. And then, of course, it came with just a standard edge guide. Uh, which is a broad base and two rods and what's kind of interesting is the rods don't have a thumb screw instead they thread into the body of the tool itself like this and we'll put those in here we go and so there's your guide rods and they have a little slots cut in them so you can tighten them down um, so you can use it that way as well. So anyway, that was just a quick little review of this neat little Ryobi handy trimmer. So if you ever end up seeing older Ryobi tools, you can kind of tell they look a little more squared off and uh, just look like they're made of a, of higher quality than they are today. They're not that offset green. Uh, take another look at them because they used to be really good. Uh, like on this thing, the bearings, they don't have any pre-play. This thing, spindle is dead tight, so... And they did pay attention. It is a through bolt. It's not threaded in the plastic, although it's a little thin there. You don't uh, jam it too hard, um, and it won't break on you. So anyway, Caddis Maximus out. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I almost forgot. I was going to let you guys hear how it runs. They do claim it's three-quarter horsepower. I don't know if it's quite that much, but maybe peak. Uh, but it would probably get pretty hot if you had that much load on it continuously. Otherwise, a great little trim router. Okay, thanks.